Rahul, take us through the preparations in the Congress camp. There are concerns that if the verdict doesn't go the way the opposition would like, Rahul Gandhi was singing that Musewala song 295, that song's lyrics also highly anarchist. Uh, if the verdict does not go the Congress's way, what's their, what's their plan of action, Rahul? Unlike 2019, this time uh, Congress party uh, has put up preparations here at ASCC headquarters. You can see Chole Bature being prepared for Congress workers here. There is a screen that has been placed by uh, Congress people here uh, so that the leaders and workers can watch election results live. Apart from this, a media enclosure has also been raised by uh, party workers so that uh, all the senior leaders could come and interact with media persons. So uh, completely unfazed by what exit polls are projecting, Congress party is pretty confident that they're going to get 295, uh, uh, not a seat less than this number, because they believe that this is Janta Kapoor, this is the ground feedback that they have got uh, from ground zero. and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, because Congress Party has uh, sacrificed a lot for this election. They have uh, they are given seats, uh, prominent seats to their allies. They are contesting on only 328 seats. So therefore, it's a very crucial election for them. And if elections results are not going to be in this favor, uh, certainly is going to be uh, a challenge uh, for the entire uh, political system. Given the but fact Raul, that how do they earlier also said how do they come? BJP is not going to get. You know, but the question is, how do you get this number two seven uh, two ninety five? You've got no, a it's a Muse wala song. You know, like so, so that's how they came up with no, it. No, so uh, no, that's the song. No, but no, I want to know. Then have you read the lyrics of the song? How did, and how did they come? How did they but come to a number Muse like two ninety five? You've got all the exit polls, all of them directionally in in one way. Uh, the lowest uh, that is being given, I think, to the BJP in, in exit polls is about three twenty. So the exit polls are directionally in one one way clearly. Suddenly you have this number 295 that comes in. It's almost as if 12 people have sat around a room, asked all their leaders, local leaders to tell us how many seats are they getting per state. They've tabulated. Malikarjun Kharge claims that DK Shivkumar at Sidharamaya have told him we're getting 18 seats in Karnataka. Now, how do you then tabulate that when you've got polls and credible polls? I think it was important to... To no, but Rahul, Rahul Gandhi is not thinking the polls are credible. He's calling them Modi's fantasy polls because it's Rahul Gandhi and the Congress's nightmare in those polls. And the BJP's fantasy, they're calling it Modi's fantasy polls. They're trying to demean and discredit every institution in this country and every process in this country. You know, the fact is, you've got a credible academic agency like CSDS with a track record over 30 years. You've got they're access the ones who my invented India. exit polling in India. That, well... It was there before but as numbers. well. But the point, Raul, is that as we saw yesterday when we did a deep dive, the vote share across, across, polls. across polls is yeah. more or less the Paul same. Misa and and that, I think, the that I think is the best example we of the fact that the exit polls perhaps are a better barometer of where the country stands. We saw what was happening in the Congress headquarters this morning. Palami Saha tracks the BJP for us. Palami, what are the preparations like inside the BJP office right now? And uh, what's happening over there? How are they preparing to deal with the opposition, which seems out to discredit the entire process? Well, uh, the BJP is also, of course, uh, going to have full strength at the counting centers. Uh, that was also part of the meeting that they held yesterday at the party president's uh, residence, at JP Nadda's residence, where the union home minister, defense minister Rajnath Singh, top leaders, including B.L. Santosh, Vinod Taude, Manohar Lal Khattar, uh, they were all present, and the strategy was to ensure that they have full strength uh, at the counting centers to ensure that there is no disruption from the opposition, which is unwilling. Uh, uh, to uh, accept uh, the results as uh, the BJP seizes after the exit polls. Here at the BJP of, uh, headquarters, of course, Rahul, the mood is very upbeat. Uh, you can see that, you know, there are already a whole lot of people that are present over here. Party workers, of course, will start trickling in in a couple of hours from now after the results start trickling in. But already the Puris, the, uh, you know, the Shira, the Laddus, they're all being prepared on my right-hand side, in fact, is where all of that preparation is underway for all the thousands of party workers that they expect will be gathering here by this uh, afternoon when the results become clear. The BGP, of course, is very confident of emerging victorious for a third consecutive time with Prime Minister Modi at the helm of uh, affairs. So, yes, the mood here is very upbeat and they do realize that the opposition 
is of course preparing in full gear uh, you know a shooting of letters to their own karyakartas to be present at district office the congress as they did to be present at district office and state headquarters in full numbers to be able to rush to any end of reports come in of any alleged tampering or rigging bjp of course is saying what is the congress is preparing for what is this putting of mass strength at district headquarters and state headquarters they are alleging are they preparing to resort to any sort of disruptions or unrest violence if the results don't go their way the bjp of course is saying that we'll also be present in full strength to ensure that there is no disruption of the counting process and everyone will have to trust the counting process you know the good uh, interesting uh, preeti what would you choose at the moment chole bature at the congress headquarters or the laddus at the bjp headquarters But the Rati, bjp I seems have a, to have a sweet tooth i have a plate of fruit and i think that's the best way to go it's a long day uh, you know in the studio today so i'll avoid the chola bhaturas and the puris for now you know uh, rahul varma uh, uh, political parties for a day uh, you know preparing for a day like this with 64 crore voters having uh, sort of cast their votes none of them probably know exactly what's in those evms none of them yeah. you know they can pretend that they won the election on both sides but at the end of the day we've seen there can be surprises i remember famously once lalu prasad alleging rigging were uh, sorry sharad yadav yeah. alleging rigging in an election with lalu yadav went on a protest guess what happens in the end sharad yadav wins and lalu loses so you know In Indian elections, anything can, can happen. Kuch bhi ho sakta. So that's what you should expect in a competitive democracy and elections. That ex ante, no one should know who's winning election. Uh, all parties should expect that they can win, uh, and at least till the counting is and over, they should. The yeah, and at least the counting the is over. Yeah. They should, uh, uh, if not anything else, pretend that they are winning. You have to keep your army and kada kaders morale high. and once the mandate comes out gracefully accept a uh, defeat so let, or, uh, so let me go around the table and ask you what is it that you are most looking forward to today why don't we at, at this moment we welcome rajat sethi rajat welcome yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, good to see you early in the morning uh, right around the table one thing quickly that you are most looking forward to ts sudhir why don't you start so, i think there will be close contest last time in two, what are you most looking forward see, to see 2019 vijayawada central assembly constituency why why sir cp won by just 25 votes which is why i say what rahul was saying the contest is going to be extremely close the stakes are very high so expect a lot of jostling till the very last so you are looking forward to andhra pradesh perhaps more than more, many andhra other parts of karnataka i think karnataka is going to be quite andhra and karnataka rashid kid boy what are you most looking forward to i think lot of exit to? poll and uh, opinion polls have shown there are uh, several you know aberrations whether these aberrations are you know spread and fulfill kind of you know opposition expectation or the exit poll goes on as expected basically like, that the close point. contest Absolutely. that the exit poll is uh, predicting in some parts of the country rajat sethi what are you most looking forward to today i think uh, there are certain areas especially in uh, in turbulent states like jharkhand haryana maharashtra which have sort of inklings towards the direction in which uh, you know next 5 6 months of conversations will go because otherwise largely speaking the mandate is pretty predictable in the other states these are the sort of uh, states which are stuck uh, uh, narrative wise and i think that is very interesting priti what are you most looking forward to i really want to know how west bengal goes so if it is 26 to 31 i'd be a little surprised uh, i was thinking it would be more 2022 for the bjp and odisha because the bjd is practically zero this lok sabha in odisha these two states i'd be watching keenly rahul what are you most looking forward to so to my mind broad trends from the exit polls are likely to hold because there is convergence but i would like to be surprised as much i could be because then the fun begins with the data analysis uh, but what i act actually expect that in the evening when the results are out there is a graceful acceptance of defeat and victory no sort of like uh, signs of any kind of taking over violence not just from opposition but also from ruling party in different parts of the country uh, running amak and going victory process